Hey guys, Anthony here. In keeping up with the uh, series of videos that I'm doing, uh, centered around the runaway camper and centered around um, uh, the possibility of an emergency, some type of an emergency happening at where you have to leave your home, uh, your safe place of residence, and wander out to a, either another location that you have pre-planned, uh, a family member's house, a hotel. Uh, it could be any one of a number of different things that take you out of your comfort zone and put you out into um, a land that could possibly be um, in an SHT type, SHTF type environment where there may be civil unrest. And therefore you'd wanna have, uh, number one, basic necessities uh, to survive. Number two, uh, the ability to shelter yourself uh, if you had to on your own. And then number three, the ability to protect and defend yourself. And so these, this series of videos is gonna focus on what do I have uh, at my disposal at a moment's notice where I could uh, bug out, leave my residence, and be able to sustain myself for a, a specific length of time. One of the scenarios that is very real down here in South Florida in the area where I live is a uh, accidental discharge of say a, a tanker truck carrying noxious fumes or gas or something like that chlorine gas something really bad uh, at any one of the major highways that surround us uh, something like that could warrant an emergency evacuation of a specific area of town or the whole city um, within our confines of our particular city there are a number of pharmaceutical companies working on any one of a number of different things that um, uh, can cause a uh, the uh, can cause us to have to evacuate at a moment's notice. So the scenario I have in mind and what we're taught in our cert class is you get a knock on the door at a particular time of day or night, and it tells you there is an X Y Z has just happened, and you have. 15 minutes, a half hour, to get out and head east, north, south, or west, whatever they, uh, whatever they tell you. And so, that's what this series of videos concentrates on. Is going to focus on uh, being ready for a scenario like that. We have to go. You have maybe 15 minutes to a half hour to pack what you have. Uh, do you have stuff ready, pre pre packed and staged? Is your vehicle ready? Do you have your uh, camper in this case ready? or your towable trailer, whatever you're gonna take with you, your roof rack, uh, you know, your Thule storage container on top of your roof of your car or your SUV, and can you pack it and get out within the t a lot of time frame. So we're gonna show you a couple things that I keep on the uh, runaway uh, camper and take you for a little inside tour. Yesterday I did a video on uh, the exterior job box. Now I'm gonna show you some items I keep on the camper at all times. And then we'll discuss in another video some of the items I could pull off my shelf in my garage and place in here or in my SUV and be off and ready uh, to go. All right? Thanks. We'll be right back with uh, Inside the Camper. So let's look at what I have in the camper. Uh, camper's in my garage on one side. On any given day, these are the items that are contained inside the camper, uh, and they stay on most of the time, if not all the time. Um, when you enter the camper, you'll see down to the left of the doorway entrance a Husky 26 inch job box or toolbox. I'm going to do a video on the contents of that. That has all types of survival gear uh, located inside of it. As you come inside the doorway, you'll see a shovel, a 19 inch axe, and a machete right there at my disposal. I have a top shelf that runs across the uh, front of the camper. It's about six inches wide, goes across the whole width of the camper, which is about 48 inches, right above the AC unit. On there I keep work gloves, binoculars, a medical kit, uh, a motion detector light, a couple of hats, or, or uh, uh, motorcycle cap that you wear riding your motorcycle, a large hunting style knife, uh, a night light, and then I have my duct tape up there and some that's my power for the camper. Looking down just below the shelf, there's two packs. One 
is halfway packed there with some hygiene gear, towel, um, you know, some stuff to take a shower, some extra shirts. This pack here, which is a Kelty hip pack, which I have videos on, is loaded with uh, more gear, and that could be, you know, worn on myself or taken out of the camper. And I just put a new towel in here. I got to put away inside that uh, dry bag. On the floor of the camper, on the far side, you'll see I have it laid out right now, my military sleeping bag, modular system, with a green insert down here in South Florida. You really don't need to worry about freezing, uh, and that's plenty for me. Uh, a Thermarest air mattress stays in here as well, as well as a, a really good sturdy pillow. <clears throat> and I sleep on this side of the camper, uh, right below this window here, okay, which I have uh, Venetian blinds on each window. Um, top of the camper has a uh, crankable air vent, okay. I'll open that up a little more. And then in the back half of the camper, when I don't need access to the back uh, shelf or the back bench and the storage under and behind it, there are these exterior, you know, lounge cushions that I keep on there. They came with the camper. So if I pull those off, it exposes the back half of the camper. Now I just have some sheets up here and a, a flannel shirt and the bag for the sleeping system in case I want to put it away. I'll pull these cushions out and give you a glimpse what's uh, under and behind uh, the cushions and my thinking behind it. Uh, back in the back corner, another machete. There's another Husky clear topped, uh, sort of like a toolbox or small items keeper box. That has uh, a bunch of items in it that I'll go over at another time. There's another, there's a tarp, military tarp back there. There's a folding table that is folded right behind there, sitting in that corner. That opens up to, I think, uh, well, double the size that it is now, so maybe 40, 48 inches. It's got screw-on legs, and I could set up and set up my gear on on it, or my stove, or whatever. Um, underneath, hard to see here, but I have another military sleeping bag right there. I have some climbing grade rope right there. That's black rope there. And then under here, if I pull out this bag. This bag you see here, that's about, you know, 20 inches by 20 inches square. If I unzip it and expose it, I have several cast iron pre-seasoned cookware um, items to cook with, okay? And I keep those on the camper so I don't have to run and, and put my cooking gear on um, in the event of an emergency. So that stays, that's been underneath this this right hand cushion right there and so those are the items that uh, stay on the camper at all times both the job box in the front and the items uh, that I showed you today um, and in the other video that I do you'll see the items that I could pull off at a moment's notice at a moment's notice and be ready to go. So in about 15 minutes I could load this up with some other essential gear, water, food, cookware, um, extra extra necessities that I went over in the other video including uh, that I didn't do yet but a, a, fire, a firearms type plan. Okay so that is my thinking behind the runaway camper and how I would have it stocked. If you don't have a camper like this you could certainly use your SUV, your car, uh, with a roof rack or something. Just, you know, plan according to what you have, okay? And then minimize your gear to fit in those areas. So this is part of my plan, and uh, this runaway comes in handy, and it just gives me a little bit of an edge to take more gear if I had to. Um, and so let me know what you think, guys. Let me know what your plan is, what you have... Uh, uh, if your readiness plan contains some items like this, let me know. You know, questions, comments, get the, the, uh, the dialogue rolling, all uh, make for a good learning experience. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate your views. 
and I make these videos uh, not only to, you know to help you guys but also it helps me uh, think through some things too and learn and make adjustments as I go along thanks for watching stay ready and God bless